I set out to make one new video every single week of 2020, and this is the final one of the year. We did it. And if you want to hear about my goals for 2021 and how to make your own SMART goals, check out last week's video. So this week is a year in review. I'm going to talk about the most important things I learned through a year of consistent content creation. So let's get to it. My name is Chris Folia. I'm your Stream Scholar. Welcome to Stream School. The first obvious thing I want to talk about is stats. Throughout 2020, I released one video every week, ranging from all sorts of free graphics, templates, and tutorials to general stream and life advice, averaged this many views with some videos significantly outperforming others, and reached this many subscribers at the time of editing this video. But those are just a bunch of boring numbers and analytics. The takeaway here, and the first big thing I learned, is that a consistent upload schedule, solid understanding of YouTube SEO, and high quality content doesn't necessarily equate to blowing up. Blowing up overnight is not a common occurrence, and slow, steady growth doesn't necessarily mean you're doing anything wrong. As long as you're growing, you're headed in the right direction. Furthermore, it had a very small effect on my Twitch channel. My stats there almost didn't budge at all, or at best, only saw very small growth that easily could have been identical if I hadn't even started this channel at all. I also never even broke 30 Twitch subscribers this year. I make less on Twitch and YouTube combined in a month than I do in a day at my full-time job. And if I'm 100% honest, I expected better from myself, and I'm honestly really disappointed in myself for performing so poorly. My original goal was 10,000 YouTube subscribers this year, and I only reached a fraction of that in spite of trying my absolute best, pouring every single ounce of free energy I had into this channel, and making some really big life sacrifices. And while it sounds negative, none of this should be mistaken as complaining. It's just a lesson learned about the reality of content creation as a career path. The takeaway from this point is that regardless of how hard you work, nothing is guaranteed. So don't burn yourself out over it. Definitely put in the effort to do what you need to grow, but don't stress too much over uploading every single week. Have fun with it, enjoy life, give yourself some breathing room, and have a safety net and a backup plan. I'm personally fortunate enough to have a full-time job that takes really good care of me. You can put every single ounce of energy you have into this, and the sad reality is that it still might not pan out, and statistically, it probably won't. Secondly, I really want to stress the weekly uploads point. So many content creators will tell you that you need to upload weekly to find success on YouTube. And the algorithm absolutely does love consistency, but I can tell you from first-hand experience that weekly uploads are not a guaranteed path to success. So focus on quality over quantity and put some serious time and effort into your titles and thumbnails. Those are what will get you that magic click-through rate. The third point I want to make is more of a do as I say and not as I do. As I'm sure most of you know, I shoot every single one of my videos on a green screen because my real apartment is pretty boring. I would absolutely not recommend this. The smaller picture here is that a green screen is a lot of extra work for each video. It adds an entire extra layer of complexity in terms of lighting, compositing, color grading, and virtual sets. But the bigger picture, and the point I really want to make, is don't give yourself more work than you need to. Editing videos and making content is already time consuming enough. You don't need to add unnecessary tasks to that workload. I'm sure most of you probably wouldn't even care if I shot these videos in my real apartment or even against a blank wall. Fourth, if you're going to make videos, start out with searchable content. Do your research, figure out what people are searching for related to your area of interest, and target that. And no, I'm not talking about montages. Stop it with the montages. Nobody is searching for those. When you first start, YouTube will not put your videos on the recommended page. So your only options for discovery are through YouTube search or through self-promotion on other sites like Reddit. Just don't be that guy who spams his links in other people's chats, and make sure you follow the rules of whatever platform you are promoting on. The videos I made that vastly outperformed the rest were things people were actively searching for, like how to make a stinger transition. Fifth, and this is something I still really personally struggle with, but try not to compare yourself to the success of other creators. Now, this will probably be an entire video on its own at some point, but everyone has their own path, and everyone grows at different rates. Just because someone else is growing faster than you doesn't mean you're a failure. Try not to get depressed over the numbers and focus on what you do have control over, which is your own content. Try to have fun with it, and if you're not enjoying it, then it might just not be for you, and that's okay. If you see someone else blow up faster than you, try to be happy for them, and more importantly, analyze and learn from them. 
you won't find success in throwing a pity party, and jealousy is one hell of a horrible rabbit hole to dive down. And here, I want to end on a high note. The final point I want to talk about is how much I grew as a content creator in the span of one year. If we compare my first video to this video, you'll notice that a lot has gradually changed throughout the year. The color grading, lighting, compositing, and editing all look significantly better, and I've also gotten a lot better at talking to the camera. Granted, I still can't remember my lines worth shit. So if this is something you truly want to do, don't be scared to start. Don't wait until everything is absolutely perfect to start making content, or you'll never actually get around to doing it. Set some goals and start making content now. You'll grow and improve as you go. Just try to make sure every single thing you produce is at least a little bit better than the last. I'm honestly really proud of how much I grew this year. In some respects, this channel has been an absolute failure. But in terms of the content I produced, the amount I've learned and grown, and the amount of positive feedback I've gotten from you all, I don't think I would change any of it. It's definitely been a worthwhile experience, and I don't plan on quitting anytime soon. I have a lot planned for 2021. And finally, I want to genuinely thank every single one of you from the bottom of my heart that supported the channel this year. So thank you. And to those of you who watched the stream, it's been one hell of a year. Definitely one for the history books. We've had some real ups and we had some real downs, but you all are basically family to me. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. As always, if you found this video insightful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below the video and ring the bell for new content almost every single week. And if you want to come hang out while I work on art or play games, I'm live at least every Friday at twitch.tv slash oraclefishlive. I'll see you next year, and until next time, my name is Chris Folia, I'm your stream scholar, and class is out. Wow.